tonight on Big Brother. Intruders in the house. Oh my god! That's my Enter Justin. Hello, Tim. And Nathan. Good to meet you, Drew. Who are these people? Justin, in particular. He found someone who's worse than me. The Big Brother house, and I'm already an outsider. Welcome, yeah. guests. I kind of like him, strangely. And wary housemates. Justin is already pushing buttons. As soon as I walked in and patted Mr. Clooney, it was like, you're out. If he tries to take over Mr. Clooney, I will say something. The new faces in the house are Justin, a 33-year-old tree lopper from Sydney, and Nathan, a 35-year-old digital designer and trivia night compare from Melbourne. Oh my god! Oh my god! The number of housemates rises from eight to ten. Things are gonna be um, turned on its head a little bit. Oh for sure. Oh, for sure. They're really big shoes. That's because like, I got really big feet, Tim. <laughs> no, like high. Yeah, chunky boot, you like it? How high do they go? No, no, no. Oh, no. They're boot shoes. Wow. Shoe boot shoes. Boot shoes. Married, you girlfriend? No. Like no. Nah. 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 Good. Nah. Single good. and ready to mingle. Yeah. I was with a girl for 11 years. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm basically an inept at, at uh, uh, yeah. so I'm a lumberjack. I don't yeah. know that the interwebs <laughs> And occur. that's okay. Um, not in your so, yeah, I basically <laughs> have no idea about the outside world as much as you do. And the Prime Minister <laughs> is... The Prime Minister <laughs> is... This is prime. Big Brother. <laughs> Housemates don't even think about it. <laughs> Oh, What's the Prime Minister oh, is a fucking like electric shock. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, wait, no, that doesn't that make doesn't help. That doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay, big brother, I've got you covered. <laughs> well, hey, I've got a story. Yes. Yes. Sorry. I was, I was born in uh, New Zealand and then I came to Australia when I was seven and I've got uh, Samoan and Scottish in my uh, wow, family. That's oh. random. So we love, we love our skirts, kilts or grass skirts or otherwise. Oh, yay. And that's why I'm so flamboyant. And, uh, and then I grew up mainly in like tiny, tiny towns around um, South Australia and Northern Territory, like 30 people or a thousand wow. people. So that's my story. I'm not letting you steal my screen time. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Sorry, I'm just going this way because it's his screen time. So I'll just let, I'll, I'll let him have his screen time. I'll just come back in a minute. I'm wiping my hands at this. This is my screen time. You will not talk on my screen. Oh, look, a hair thing. Well, the big brother house and I'm already an outsider. I love it. Do you have any questions for us? Oh, oh look, you know. Are you going a bit? Yes, 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 yes you'll find that as well. Yeah, you, you, you like, Hang on. you're on a high, then a low, then a high. Guess I'm on missing. Tully. Tully. She got evicted she last night. She got evicted last night. Yeah. Oh, please don't be angry at me, Drew, but thank God. <laughs> Because I'm sorry, it's just she. Wow, oh, I'm sorry, what? Drew. Oh, just, what? Why? She just seems like a very pessimistic person, oh. and I'm happy. And that would have been yeah, tough. Yeah, yeah. That oh, just yeah, occurred yeah. to me. In that sense, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This place is though. It's like. Oh, dog. I oh, know you're sitting here. What am I doing here? <laughs> Michaela's good with him. She is. None of us oh, really wow. like him. I've already like, cause I, I joked about taking Mr. Clooney. She's already like, <laughs> she's already, I'm yeah. I'm stare at you and hate you from I, inside. Well, I told her, I said, well, at least if you go, Michaela, someone else can look after the dog. Mr. Clooney. Well, you'll fit in great drop, here. Drop, Good boy, stay, stay. Ah, ah, Clooney, 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 Clooney. Is the other guy actually okay? I don't know. Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 Was he just mucking around? Uh, it's alright, Michaela, I'm not really going to steal your dog, but can we share? Yeah, we can share. Excellent, yeah. thanks. Because he, look, he likes me. <laughs> yeah. He does, he's really, he does. that's really it's, cool. It's the deep now voice. Now he's going to ask you to play with him, he's going to like... And then he won't give you the toy. He has a well, see, that's bad training. Yeah. Well, I've been trying to train him, but he doesn't even know his bloody name. <laughs> Tim. Hi, big brother. You seem like you're in a good mood. I just, I can't stop laughing. 
Who are these people? Well, Justin, in particular, you found someone who's worse than me. It wasn't easy. <laughs> I actually love him. Ed thinks that we're going to clash, but he makes me look good. <laughs> I'm an angel compared to Justin. I love it. He's a stirrer. He says what he thinks. He's full of energy. Wow. He is like a dirtier, smellier, meaner version of me. Boggles the mind, doesn't it, Tim? I know. I wonder if he's as clever as I am. Gotta be patient. Good boy. Good boy. Closer. Closer. It's not a game anymore. It's training. Come on. Closer. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Shh. Michaela's cranky that Justin loves the dog and he seems to be a bit of a Mr Clooney whisperer. Mr Clooney sat and stayed still. I've never even got him to do that. I've been living with him for about six, seven weeks. Come on, Clooney. Now he's going to be psycho. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on, baby. Coming up... Mr Clooney has chosen me to be his mum, not him. Michaela puts Justin in the doghouse. I don't care what Mr Clooney thinks of him because Mr Clooney's mine. This is Big Brother. Justin and Nathan to the diary room. <laughs> The two new intruders, Justin and Nathan, are about to see the diary room for the first time. Don't you bitch about me. Be nice. Um, oh my God. Yeah, but I think they're cool. I like that yeah, Justin's going to be up for anything. He's going to get in yeah, there and he's going to give it a go. Yep. And it will, it'll will probably drive us, up, drive us up the wall. I reckon Nathan will be really yeah. good. He's a really nice guy. Can I just say that Justin was a bit on the pole? His yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Justin smells. Justin yeah. really smells. <laughs> Justin. Nathan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, big brother. Yes, Mr. Big Brother. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Brother house. Thanks, Big Brother. Thank you. This is so funny. <laughs> what are your impressions of the housemates? Everyone's very nice, I must say. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I mean, unless they're just acting. Um, but at the moment, they're all seem, you know, obviously we're fresh and we're new. They all seem very excited. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Of all of the housemates, who do you feel has been the most welcoming? Um, well, surprisingly, Tim. <laughs> I was just about to say that yeah, because Tim, Tim, <laughs> Tim is the one that I'm most wary of, and so that's probably uh, why. Interestingly enough. I thought me and Michaela would hit it off straight away, but she actually seems quite wary of me. So that's that's my biggest... Oh, Michaela's just being wary of, of everyone, I think. She's the silent assassin. Oh, okay. So, yeah, as soon as I walked in and patted Mr Clooney, it was like, you know, you're out. <laughs> he's had kettle dogs all his life. Oh, and they need a master. He does, yeah. Excellent. I don't think oh, I can you're happen. his mum. We, he's I'm great. His mom. You are. His yeah, you are his mum. And I plan to A dog him. doesn't just change who their owner is. <laughs> he touches my dog. Justin yep. and Nathan, <laughs> you may have noticed an envelope beside you. Yes, big brother. Both of you will take this envelope out to your fellow housemates. Mm -hmm. yes. Gather them together. Mm -hmm. And between you now. Decide which of you will open the envelope and read the contents aloud. Ah, I will. He's going to open it. This golden ticket admits you and two of your housemates to the Garden of Eden. Oh, Enjoy, sweet. Big Brother. Only original housemates may be invited to the Garden of Eden. You cannot invite your fellow intruder. Um, oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. I'm going to take Michaela. Ah, oh, thank you. And now oh, this is oh, it's like Sophie's Choice. Um, and I'm sorry, buddy. I'm just sulking. Great girl. Um, and uh, Benny, Benny, I want you to come with me. Yeah. Um, Nathan is lovely so far. Uh, I find that he's very similar to Ben. He has a very interesting story. Um, the other one, Jay, uh, Justin, 
Okay, so, <laughs> oh, there's a phrase, never judge a book by its cover, and I am a huge advocate of that phrase. But <laughs> I don't even want to touch the book. It's all dirty and, and horrible looking and <laughs> it smells a bit and I don't want to go near it. I don't, I'm not interested. And the book is uh, is already pushing buttons and I'm just not interested in, in picking it up and flicking through the pages. What does Mr Clooney think of Justin? If he tries to take over Mr Clooney, I, I don't care if he tries to take over in the kitchen, whatever, but if he tries to take my son away from me, I will say something. And Mr Clooney has chosen me to be his mum, not him. He has not been living with Mr. Clooney for all this time. I don't care what Mr. Clooney thinks of him because Mr. Clooney's mine. Hmm? Yes, I know. Yes. Oh. This is very <gasps> oh, look at this. You go in there. You go in there. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Look <laughs> All the beautiful, pretty light. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're Dorothy. You're the scarecrow. Okay. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna oh, help Carmen you. Miranda. Oh, oh, Carmen Miranda. <laughs> um, everyone seems really friendly. Well, I'll fill you in on everything because I'm not afraid to mince words. Yeah, yeah. Safely away from the rest in the Garden of Eden, Michaela gives in to the temptation to give Nathan the goss on the other housemates. Tahan's lost a lot of really close <laughs> friends. Tahan. Mm -hmm. So the halfway think... house people. Yeah, um, we were we are the only original halfway house people remaining to Han and myself. Um, listen to her. Okay. Pretend, you're in, custom, pretend you're in customer service. Yeah, no, just listen to her then. Yeah. Listen to her wind, well, just take and play. I would natu naturally. Mm. Well, um, her stories are boring. <laughs> and they're gone forever. <laughs> she's a terrible. Don't swear, do you? She's a terrible <laughs> storyteller. <laughs> Michaela, you're just. You're a naughty girl. Ed? Mm. Just be you. Mm. Ed, Ed will appreciate that. The girls already love you, Katie and Lucy, so who else is there? Who am I forgetting? Jade. Jade, be yourself, because yep. us, then myself, Tim, Katie and Lucy and Jade are all very close. I just If Tim annoys you, tell him. He will respect that so much. Well, okay. Tell him exactly what you think of him. Mm -hmm. Be straightforward with Tim. This is fabulous. It's so beautiful. It really is the Garden of Eden. Yeah. And I'm an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really point. worried about Mr. Clooney. No, don't be worried about it. He's my baby and he has attached himself to me. And He's so friendly. Now that, what's his name again? Justin. Justin. Justin's here. He's just staring you, love. He's just staring you. What do you mean, what are you worried about? Because Justin's gonna steal him from me. He's Why? mine. He's mine. What do you think, you've only known him for two minutes. What do you think he's gonna steal from Because he's like, you? oh, you're doing it all wrong. Like. Cattle dogs need to be trained specifically. You no, like he's a... just being assertive. Mm. Don't worry about it. Justin's going to hate me. <laughs> he already does, but that's why he would have anyway. Well, they'll be keeping him entertained there. They'll be, they'll be doing, doing stuff and mm -hmm. playing with the dog. <laughs> Suss me up. Good. Clooney. But Michaela will Hey, <laughs> Clooney, come here. Good boy, good boy. He does have a weird respect for you. Look at that. He yeah. never does that with people. That's the way you talk. Sit. Clooney. Come on. Good mm. boy. Wow. Look He's a that. really timid dog. Guys, look we at that. We have a dog whisperer. <laughs> Tahan. Yes, big brother. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for throwing in two new housemates. Thoughts? Oh my god, okay. I don't know where to start. Like, I think the house is going to be shaken up a little bit. Um, the two new housemates, Nathan and Justin, are already button heads, which is kind of funny. Loving that. It feels like with Justin in the house, it's like another Tim. So there's two Tims in the house. I really like the guy. I think he's really honest and it's kind of refreshing to hear someone who is honest and won't take crap from anyone. I love it. I love someone who's very opinionated and vocal and I, I, I kind of like him, strangely. 
coming up. He's got to like someone. He likes you. Tim sizes up Justin. Is it a case of you keep your friends close and enemies closer? The joys of having a beard, it catches everything, yeah, exactly. uh -huh. including my cereal. It's going to look great if I'm oh, looking yeah. both. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cereal. Yeah. 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 Justin is still causing a stir, particularly amongst the boys. What do we do, Drew? What about what? He's like a nutter. But he's not, though. He is, but he's not. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, he's In switched way, on, he's yeah. normal. He can be normal. You know doesn't like it. Doesn't like it at all. Mm, I don't know if he knows and likes me. He hasn't said much to you, has he? No. Nah. He's got to like someone. He likes you. But is it a case of you keep your friends close and enemies closer? Maybe. But you wouldn't say or nothing. Is he just going to turn on me? What do you think? What do you guys think? think? Oh, I think he'll ruffle a few of like the other people's feathers. Like who? Kayla's, mm. Ed and Jade's. Oh, I don't even and care then about what about Nathan? Yeah, true. He just seems like a cuddly bear, like he's kind of like... <laughs> He'll be bitchy. He'll just... what? He'll be bitchy. Do you think? He'll snip back if people... Oh, will he? Absolutely. It's like coming back from the dead. Thank you so much. Oh, God. It's like BB gone wild. <laughs> ben and Michaela have returned from the Garden of Eden, ready to gossip about their host, Nathan. Oh. Well, that was nice. That was lovely, and he is so nice. Yeah, he's really sweet. He's um, really sweet. You know, Ben, I'm really glad he took us in because um, I wasn't going to make an effort to get to know them. Like, I wanted them to make the effort to come and get to know me. Yeah, that's honest. And he was great. Yeah. No, he's a very nice talker. And you guys have so much in common. I don't even... He loves Elvis. He loves Elvis and he knows all these old songs that you talk about. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, he's so nice. I like him a lot. Yeah. Um, beds, I'll tell you, I think you can have either one of that one. Yeah. No, hang on. Yes. Oh, it doesn't that matter. one or the double. With Tully evicted and Drew moving to a single bed, the two intruders have a choice of a double or a spare single bed. I'll give, look, I didn't go into the garden of I don't either, think, so give him, give no, him I don't double. think he wants a bed. Just give him the double. No, I think he said he wants to be Crocodile Dundee on the floor, so we've got to let him do his thing. All right. And then drawers, yeah. I have a feeling Justin won't be using drawers, so I'm sure there's... Gentlemen, your luggage is available, as you can see. Mm. And it's also time to select where you'll be sleeping in the Big Brother house. Mm -hmm. where, there was a double bed in the other one. Do you want to take that? In the main room? Or the in, girls' in room? room? There's a double bed. I think that's with Drew. I think that was a... Well, he said you wanted to go crocodile, didn't he, and sleep on the floor, and I wasn't... Yeah, basically. So, Are you sure? Yeah. You don't want the double bed? No, that's all right. You can do it. You're yeah. bigger than I am. Well, yeah, but... Are you sure? Yeah, no, respect the elders. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. I'll yeah. take that. I'll take Thanks. That. All right, as long as you know. As long no, as, okay. look. Happy to hand it. I'll take the double then, I suppose. All right. Select a bit of floor. Oh, you guys got your stuff? Yeah. Awesome. Yay. Yay. Are you having the double? Yeah, are you sure no one else wants the double? No, go for it. So you're there. I'm uh, looking for a bit of floor. <laughs> Big Brother said that. You're not actually sleeping on the floor. Right? You're not sleeping on oh, the ninja. It's not as comfortable as you think. We've tried it every Monday for a few weeks. One Sleep thing wherever you want. Yeah. The carpet out near the front door is very comfortable. Come have some drawers. Oh, you cheers. You asked me to sleep here, Ed? Sleep in the bed. Sleep in the bed. It will be good. No. It will be entertaining. Nah. Might sleep next to the bed. I'll sleep close to the bed. Yeah, I'm going to go outside. Do you guys have photos? No. Nah. What's that? Any photos of like friends or family? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, Mr. Clooney, can you help me find somewhere to sleep? Yeah? Where would you sleep if you were going to sleep somewhere? Oh, over here. That'd be good. I don't know. It's looking like me. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Cool. And now I can't be accused of sleeping in the bedroom all day. Where are you setting up? There. The lights don't go off. Have I you got a that. eye mask? No. Is there lights off There anyway? will be someone will have a spare eye mask. All right. Well, if the lights don't go on, I'm not sleeping out here. Eat chocolate in there. I'll yeah, sleep on the floor. Yeah, the there. lights don't go off. Yeah. yeah. No, I'll sleep on the floor in there for sure then. Yeah. I just yeah, did yeah. like the feel of this carpet. <laughs> All right. Back to the buddy bedroom, back to the man. Pile. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I, didn't, I got told that the lights don't go out out there. Yeah. So. Nice shit. <laughs> Tell us, Michaela Vent, go. I don't like him. No, I know you don't. I think he's dirty looking. <laughs> so I we, like you. Yeah, we don't need another one of me. Can I ask a hard question, but I don't know if yeah, you know go how for to it. answer it. Go for no, it. No, why do you think you're here? I think I'm here to just bring fun to the house, yeah. which is really surprising to me. I didn't think I'd, that's why I thought there's no way I'm going to get in because normally yeah. it's a hot chick or an asshole. Yeah. So I just think you guys needed a bit of fun and that's yeah. why they chucked me in. I agree. Cool. Mm, I agree and also I think they put him in because we're polar opposites <laughs> and yeah. we're going to compete and get on each other's nerves yeah. and yeah. you know, it's great. I'm up for it. Bring yeah. it on. I can see that. Yep. You don't hear to ruffle feathers. No. Obviously, no. Obviously someone else is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. But he's going to ruffle my feathers too. Yeah. Gosh, I can't wait for you and him to just have a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I'm glad food. to have you here, Nathan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are. Thanks for being nice. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a refreshing change. Oh, good. Really cool. We've all been sort of weird. wanting it. Yeah, it's like, great. we've all it's been good. sort of like, oh my gosh, she's an intruder going to come? Like, oh, man, cheers. like, Thanks. honestly. Yeah. You're like it's a shiny new toy. Yeah. Yeah. And we always like you. Spin around. Dance, monkey, dance. Can you get off my back? Hey, Nathan. 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 God. I will get over hiding my torso, but for now, I'm going to change in here. Next, oh. Justin's the intruder that's going to stay in the house. <laughs> the task that's no laughing matter. <laughs> like, it's like, you know, some of really good friendships, some... This some... is Big Brother. All housemates to the lounge. Yeah. There's no rest for our two intruders. Something's about to happen. All housemates must now take part in the weekly task that determines whether they'll be eating another week of staple foods or luxury groceries of their choosing. Wind when ready. <laughs> ready? Yeah, ready. go, Drewby! Keep your face back, Drew. <laughs> no, because it takes Oh, there we go! Oh. Oh. I would have went the other way. Oh, all right. Oh. Oh, he's cute. Okay, housemates, it's time for your next shopping task. Yes. They say that laughter is the best medicine. Yes. Housemates, you are all about to receive a huge dose in this week's LOL task. Yes. Oh, lol. <laughs> to pass the task, all housemates have to do is laugh out loud. Yes. The rules are simple. When housemates hear the LOL sound effect, something funny is about to happen and they must prepare to laugh uncontrollably. When housemates hear the LOL sound effect again, the laughs are over and housemates can return to normal. If at any point during the LOL task, housemates do not laugh uncontrollably when something funny happens, they will fail the task. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I love to laugh. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Housemates, Prepare. Big Brother has a hilarious joke for you. Prepare yourselves to laugh uncontrollably until you hear the LOL sound effect again. Okay. 
Why hasn't Big Brother spoken to Mrs. Big Brother for 30 years? Why? He didn't want to interrupt her. To pass the task, housemates must laugh continuously, whether it's funny or not, until the jingle sounds. The task isn't over yet. In the backyard, Big Brother has set up a stand-up comedy stage. Oh, wow. Oh, no, it's a comedy oh, wow. dancer. Oh. And it's up to Nathan to keep the housemates laughing. You may begin your hilarious routine now. Man walks into a bar. Ouch. Ah! Uh, uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Who? 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 Are you an owl? <laughs> uh, I don't actually know any jokes, and so there's no punchline to this one. How many housemates does it take to change a light bulb? How many? I don't know. <laughs> it's still funny! It's still funny! <laughs> and I've got one more joke. <laughs> Justin's the intruder that's going to stay in the house. <laughs> What about when he said, oh, Justin will be the intruder that stays <laughs> that in the house. That was funny. That was really funny. Yeah, that was, yeah. I don't know what to think about them all. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Day one. Cheers. Yeah. Where's your coffee? Yeah. Just trying to... Cheers. Congrats. Cheers. Cheers, welcome. Yes. Cheers, welcome. Cheers. 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 Let the joust begin. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. on guard. While Nathan has the housemates warming to him, Justin is not endearing himself as easily. I don't like him, and I told Big Brother that. I, 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 to be honest, I actually like him. Like, I think, yeah, like, I think he's very intelligent. It'll be an mate. injection of energy in the house, it's which we kind of need. Already, oh, God, let's be yeah. honest. Like, and Nathan, I think, is a really nice guy. I yeah. think he's a great guy. Will they have a one-on-one? -on -one? Like, I don't think so. How's he been towards you, Ben? Justin. Justin. Yeah, he's good. When he, when, he, when he came through the door, I went for the handshake and he went for the hug. Yeah. Um, um, when we went from this gold room into the purple room, he opened the door for me. And he said... And he, and he, uh, he said Is uh, that really what matters to you? Little things. Oh. Little things like that. They're oh, not noticeable. I wouldn't yeah. even notice them. See, really? Yeah, no, See, never. Know. Never notice them. Coming up. Have you seen Ed being alpha male already? He hasn't let Jade leave his sight. Has Ed backed himself into a corner? He's made his bed, he has to lie on it now. Literally. He can't, literally, he can't pull out. Yeah, big Aww. brother loves you. really gotta go to the loop. Yeah, honestly, you feel like an outside toilet as well. Oh my god, I've really gotta go. When nature calls in the Big Brother house, new housemates can sometimes feel like they're being watched. It's the final you, frontier. You know it really what? Is. The gold room's a good one to go in. So the, oh, can we'll you walk show you me? there. Yeah, yeah there you go. I'll take it. I'm gonna make a tea. The gold room's a good place to do it. Put this down here, oh, baby. What are you doing? Oh, you're by yourself, sugar plum. No. Baby cakes. Right, you have to go. Yeah, we'll, leave, we'll, we'll let you. Do well, as if this makes any difference, but no, but we'll, we'll let you do you things. Do it. Okay. <laughs> be free. Be comfortable. Right. <laughs> be free. How am I going to do this? Okay, I'm going in. And it's not going to be pretty. So turn the mics down. T 
Turn them off. Don't look at me like that. I couldn't help it. I don't want to cause issues with you and the dog, Michaela. It's just that I, I, yeah, I haven't had a dog for a long time. My dog died, and I've just I've been living in a in a uh, unit and pretty much oh, I just, yeah. I need that. The Mr. Clooney has been a lifesaver for me. Yeah, so. Because like, I have two dogs at home and not yeah. having a dog in here yeah. was painful. Because I had the cattle dog as well, so he's just like. One well, like him? Yeah. Oh, no. well, it was red and he's a blue, cattle so. Cattle dogs are so loyal. Ben. Hello, big brother. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. How's your night been? It's been an interesting night, hasn't it? Sounds as though you're referring to Justin and Nathan. I'm referring to Justin and Nathan, our intruders. So we'll start with um, Nathan. Nathan's, Nathan's super sweet, he's very lovely, and he's very easy to talk to. He's got a very interesting story. Um, he loves Elvis, so that's a big tick. Uh, Justin, um, big ball of energy, big personality. Um, I dare say that his bark is worse than his bite. He gave me a hug. I didn't know whether to give him a handshake or not because he seems like a real, you know, man's man, but he gave me a big hug and he opened some of the bedroom doors for me to walk through and just little things like that. And I take note of that. That's very polite. I think they're great um, additions to the house, to be honest. Are it's you the... in a relationship? No, no. So what are you doing? <laughs> Don't <check. laughs> I'm pretty much engaged. I'm not yet. No. <laughs> um, but you could try it on, on Jade. That would be interesting. <laughs> oh, Ed. It. Have you seen Sorry. Ed being alpha male already? He hasn't let Jade leave his side. He wasn't interested Hell in Jade me. at all as far as well I could tell, tell on television. So, and wasn't then, until I made news last week. Just quickly. Okay. Just quickly. Because it was like, I, I winked at her and straight away he was like... <laughs> Hey. Oh, Justin, I love you! Um, so have you formed opinions about everyone? Of course I have. I'm okay. an opinionated person. Tim's Tim. I mean, you can't get Tim's away. Tim's unique. Tim is just brilliant. I, I love him. him. It's just the way you're, like, the way you treat people in this house is just so much fun. What about me? Hey? Be honest. No, you're crap. <laughs> I'm you've got that, you, you need to be a politician. You've just got that. She wants to be. She's got the Burt Newton smile. Hi. Yeah. It's not wavering. I think Tim sort of um, leads the house, is the head of the house, has, um, is the centre attention of the house. I, I'm, not, I'm just trying to put it into the, into the correct sort of words, whether, you know, he's the alpha male of the house. I don't know. It's kind of, it's sort of between Tim and Ed, but they're completely different people, but that sort of similar. I, I, think, I think the relationship between Ed, Justin and Tim will be really interesting. It's one thing to form an opinion of the housemates from watching Big Brother. It's another thing learning to live with them from day to day. Oh my god, so it's just that. Just tell me anything, man. Good? Yeah, exactly. Anything for flavor. Any taste you can get. <laughs> like smash it with chili. Oh. Why is it that Ed's shitting me up the wall? Is he? Oh. Really? Like a cat with diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Why? And it's all is it standard? Oh yeah, it's standard. Doctor Phil. I'd, if there was an intruder to come in, oh yeah, he'd love to grill him. No, but uh, oh, yeah. oh, he's gonna he's gonna roll you up so much. He's gonna roll you up so much. No, mate, he's already made a lot of stereotypical comments about you that you hate. Yeah, he doesn't like that. Like, Hates why do you think that another me is gonna annoy me? It's gonna annoy you. Not There's two of us now to annoy you. Funniest thing is. One of his biggest things is not being pigeonholed. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Sorry I missed half the food in the bowl. <laughs> yeah. I'm the messiest bloody chef. Ed has recently moved into Jade's bed, but with two new people needing somewhere to sleep, it looks like he's stuck there. He's made his bed, he has to line it now. Literally. Agreed. He can't, literally. 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 And he, he said it, he said out. it, he's like, I'll move, I'll move in. Well, oh. he, <laughs> he can't, he can't pull it out. Out, but you because 
when I, I moved to here, and then I was like, ah, oh, because what we talked about, like, if he's got the option of going back, he won't. He won't. He, he won't. I don't think he would. He Guarantee he won't. Image he conscious. Still the there. Day one, population one. My perception of him. What was that? No guts, no glory. I've always said that. About him? Oh. Yeah. Yep. Next. I know you're my competition, so that's yeah. weird. Bring on the battle of the beards. I'll just let the other intruder talk and talk and talk and hang himself. And you've got a freckle in your ear a lot that as well. My God, you really sized me up so far. No, I just stop and observe. Yeah, no, it's not something. I was just observing. Intruders Nathan and Justin have been in the house for three hours, and everything about them is still of intense interest. I've got a personal question, Justin, for you. Quick question. Okay, what happened to your finger? Yeah. Is that where you got electrocuted? No. No, that's um. That was just an accident when I was a kid. I was checking the uh, oil on my bike chain. The bike was upside down. My little brother came and spun the um, pedal and my finger went through the back cog. Yeah. That's why I wasn't Hugh Jackman's body double. <laughs> Don't laugh. Wolverine? Mm. Yeah, I thought it's going to Oh, were you going to be those things? Yeah. Are you serious? Mm. I thought you were joking. No, I couldn't. I thought... Oh, I thought you were joking. I need to get my drink bottle. Where That's is like dark and Justin's comment about being a stunt double now has Tim thinking he's not a real housemate. He's an no. actor. Oh, is he? Yeah. Huh. Well, he does stunt doubles for you, Jackman, and David McBack. Who? Justin. Did he say that? Yeah, just then. Oh. The real one is Nathan. Oh, and he's in here to stir. Well, just to, he's nothing like you, but oh, that. I know, I like know, at all. Like, I know. I that's... had a moment with him in the kitchen yeah. where he spoke to me one on one, and I saw who he was. Yeah, yeah. and I was like, oh, you're not any of what yeah, I felt. Exactly. Like my first impression of him just went out the exactly. window. I thought that was weird. I was like, why would you watch? There's, I mean, that could be a stereotype. There's too but... many little things that he's throwing in to actually be a real person who's watched the show. Like it's so deliberate. Jade doesn't need anything. It's just unnatural, like, to have that many. It's overkill. And he's done that to nearly everyone, and some of them have been so subtle that I don't even think people have picked up on it. Oh, wow. It's weird, isn't Already it? let too much out of the bag. Brilliant. What do you mean? Oh, you just become like this bloody... They have a bit of a blabber mouth yeah, when you come in here. You know, they're so desperate for something new to talk about. Yeah. You know, I know what you mean, but you know, just go with it. That's it. You don't want to be the quiet guy sitting in the corner. Yeah, I've had my moments. <laughs> you know, it's just the first night. Well, it'll be easier tomorrow. It's like there's pressure on as well because you're like, you. And I know you're my competition, so that's yeah. weird and it's all weird. Oh, but there's also, it's no, weird. it's not that pressure. It's also just pressure on that because you are new, you've got to come in and, and do something. Shh. Hello, everybody! Jazz like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, <laughs> that, yeah, as you said, you slept. Like, you know, it's like, it, all that, you become a little bit reclusive yeah. all of a sudden and then you just get locked in. So yeah. it's like all my conversation is gone. <laughs> nah, nah, I've got to warm up. Well, I'm sure, you know, BB's going to throw as much as he can at us. He's unaware, isn't he, of how long to talk about something. I'm not like that. No. You're nothing like him, Timmy. I really don't think you guys have really much in common at all. I just reckon sometimes you're too smart for your own good. Possibly. Like, I think you're reading, like... I think you're so suspicious, and generally you are right. But there are times where I think you just, it would have been. She just go along with the flow. Yeah, it just doesn't it seem too elaborate that he would just be an actor acting. It could just be simply, he has watched the show and gone, picked up on a few things you've said and brought up common interests. Like the fact There's that he doesn't wear. He hasn't watched the show. 
He sat down and watched it all on DVD. Mm. I don't know. Nathan. Big brother. How are you? I'm good. Calmed down a bit. Uh, I was a bit full on coming out. I was a bit really stressed. Uh, I just wanted to come in and say thanks. It's great to be here. Uh, everyone's been really nice. Tim has really surprised me. He's actually been very nice. Um, I probably shouldn't uh, trust him, but he's been very nice. Everyone's been nice. Um, and yeah, I'll just let the other intruder talk and talk and talk and hang himself. Do you feel as though Justin's had the lion's share of the attention this evening? Yeah, but that's a good thing, because he's a little boring. So that's fine. Um, I just wanted to relax tonight, and I've, you know, befriended the people that I've naturally clicked with, and uh, which is most people, and had just genuine conversations, which is what I wanted. I didn't want to uh, push too hard. My brain's just ticking over and I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out what's coming next and what your tricks are and what you're thinking. But I just know that I'm, I'm not going to be able to figure that out. I'm just going to have to fly by the seat of my pants. Oh. oh, I don't like this. Lucille's going to sleep on the floor and I am. Don't tell them to be bad. Yeah, no, I'd be bad straight away. You can't do it. You can't do what? You can't do the bed. Go really? on the floor. Really? You prefer yeah. to sleep on the floor than a bed? Yeah. Really? I can't believe you prefer to sleep on the floor. That is so interesting. <sighs> Do you have a really hard mattress or something at home? Nah, it's all good. Do you sleep on a futon? This is me. I don't know. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Good night, everybody. Welcome to Big Brother Welcome. House. Boys. Thank you. Both very interesting. All right. So you'll... Hmm? Nothing. Oh, I wanted a bigger pillow. Uh, oh, good attitude. Welcome to Big Brother Confidential. Yeah! <laughs> For a more revealing look. Let's glove up. <laughs> at your favourite housemates. Yeah. <laughs> From the moment Tim arrived, the housemates have been razzled. Ah! Dazzled. <laughs> and lately a little concerned about what they label the Tim Show. Another great episode of the Tim Show. If you ask Tim, he doesn't have a strategy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but <laughs> I don't feel like playing. <laughs> But his on-the-spot eviction predictions leave no doubt he's some type of nominations Nostradamus. It's time to go. Tully! Big Brother decided to find out, is Tim merely the house prankster, or is he the puppet master? Tim, what role do you think you have assumed in the Big Brother house? Well, I think I always come up with some fun ideas of things to do, whether that's on my own or... Um, giving someone else uh, something to laugh at. <laughs> I'm a king. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like the Joker a bit. How do you entertain yourself in the house? I like to go on wildlife hunts. I find rare bugs in the backyard. Sometimes I might like, keep them for a bit just to study them and then I'll let them go. If I get bored, I might play mind games on other people. What if while we're gone, some other people arrive. Someone that Ed might be interested in. Well, then he'll be interested in that. Psych them out a little bit. Look at Timmy, no point. I know. <laughs> I can get away with murder in here. Yeah, there's always ways I can entertain myself in here. When do you get into trouble in the house? Oh, I always seem to get in trouble in the house. Everybody seems to just point the finger at me. 
I don't even think I'm that bad. Tim, if you promise to be a good boy, you may now return to the school table. My foot is permanently planted in my mouth because I'm constantly saying things that seem to offend people and it was the wrong time and place to say it. What I am offended at is the fact that I said that we can still be friends, we can still hang out, and you're like, eh, right, 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 I don't want to be. Inappropriate emotional responses to things. Oh, well, that went well. That's what a lot of people get angry about. I think they don't like me being successful either. So I seem to get in trouble a lot when I win Showdown. It has happened twice. So I think people get cranky at me when I'm unpredictable. I think they are afraid of me that they don't know what I'm gonna do next or they don't know, they can't predict how I'm gonna react or the choices I'll make in the house. So I'm always in trouble because I should have done something different. In my it's bed. Gone. Haven't they learnt by now? I don't even know what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> Do you think that your fellow housemates understand you yet? As much as they all would probably say that I think it's all about me, I don't talk about my lives as much as they do. I'm Tim, I uh, grew up out west in the Blue Mountains. I really like the bush. Have you always been a bit of a prankster? Yes, I've always been a prankster. I think because I've got a lot of sisters. I've never had a brother. If you do pranks on your sisters, they'll just scream and run away. Like did get a, a lot of trouble growing up from teasing everyone around me. People don't really know, they just don't give me a reaction and the pranks will stop, the teasing will stop. Because that's all I want, is a reaction out of people. What would your family say about that side of you? I don't think I would be surprising them. They've seen it all before. They're probably voting to save me to keep me away from them. Not because they want me to win the show or anything. They just don't want me back home annoying them. <laughs> I predict someone will walk from the Big Brother house. Whoa. Tell Big Brother about your nominations, Rox. It's just a visual tool for someone who learns differently. I just kind of look at them and work out who's friends with who, and then I work out who will nominate who. I see where I sit in that and see if I can bring some people above me to push me down further lists to avoid nomination. They're not often wrong. I'm gonna name, nominate Xavier this week. Xavier. Jasmine. Jasmine. Caleb this week. Caleb. I'm nominating Heidi. Heidi. Matthew. Matthew. Oh no, no. Three points I nominate Tully. Tully. Do you believe that you might be psychic? Nah. I'm just smart. My game was always to make sure that there wasn't a group of people deciding who went home. So early on, I broke up a clique that I saw forming. I just want to break up a, like a comfort clique. Shake it up. The real secret is, instead of a group of people deciding who goes home or not, perhaps I've made my own little group of one and I'm now deciding who goes home or not. I win again! Tim, how would you describe this game you were playing? I'm playing to be the most entertaining person by not being afraid to do whatever it takes. It's the music compilation you've been waiting for. House Hits 2013. We're serving up all the classics from Big Brother Records that you know you love, including Michaela's Ode to KFC. I'd love to try a Zinger Pie. It's a Zinger Pie! It's a Zinger Pie! Woo! Crispy pastry and creamy filling. It is so good you just can't sit still. Oh, good one! And yes, it's that Rihanna remix from Tim and his Teaspoons, Umbrella. <laughs> hey, opera lovers, wrap your ears around this doggone ditty from Drew. Mr. Clooney smells and he eats what he shouldn't. 
I've seen him wee more times than me. Than me. <laughs> and here's the track that saw the top ends to Han take out the title on Australia's next top yodel. Two chicken sizzles and fried rice. Two chicken sizzles and fried rice. Nothing says country like Katie and Lucy's eviction anthem. Evictions are sad. They make people mad. Yeah. We don't like being up for nomination. Oh, it causes devastation. <laughs> and who could forget Ed's emotional instrumental rendition of his footy club song? Jade sure proved she's more than a pretty face with her beatboxing belter. And finally, what Mother's Day wouldn't be complete without Ben's Beyonce-inspired ballad, Sunshine in the Sky. Sunshine in the sky, looking at me, wondering why. Through the clouds, shining down, as I sit and wonder. House Hits 2013, out now. Michaela. Hi, big brother. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thanks. That's good. Michaela, big brother's been watching all of you. But you've only been hearing Big Brother. Yeah. What do you think Big Brother looks like? Oh, OK. <sighs> Tall, dark and handsome. Kind of distinguished looking, maybe in his early to mid 40s. Really nice, straight white teeth. Maybe like an older version of Ed. Thick head of hair, no receding hairline at all. Chiseled jaw, strong mandible. A nice body, not too over the top though. You know, solid, no, no excess flab. Uh, maybe a size 11 foot. Very nice dress sense. Casual but sophisticated. I imagine him being about the label more than the fashion. I think I would definitely be attracted to him in a George Clooney kind of way the better. Oh, and when, when he walks down the street, people like stop and kind of look at him, but he doesn't notice. Because he's very modest. So you haven't given it much thought then? <laughs> no. It's just off the top of my head. Are you married, big brother? Only to my job. <gasps> oh my gosh, I have the perfect woman for you. Basically me, but better. And older. I'll introduce you on the outside. Warning, this prank was performed by Big Brother house crane professionals. Please do not try this at home. The housemates have been waiting to get revenge on pranks to Tim. Could this be their moment? I've got to hang out Tim's doona. You do have to, or you Oh, should? he asked me to. I, I will. Do you think you do it for you? Don't no. Do <gasps> Benny Boo, please don't do it. No, I will. It's, oh. No, no leave, leave me out of your plans. Please. OK, <laughs> let me do it. What? So I like grind them up into like a powder mm -hmm. and then rub them through his underwear. <gasps> we can get it out. We can get it out. We can get it out. <laughs> I will get it out. <laughs> oh my god. What do you do? Put it in cream. Underwear. Underwear. Let's glove up. This is chilli. <laughs> so I think we should put more chilli flakes. I would yeah. really love to see this chilli work. I think we need to blue one It's with nearly like flakes. I want to try and see if it works on mine. Feel it? Yeah. Okay, okay so I think we should put more chilli flakes. If it doesn't hurt, we go... What, we got OTT. Oh, it's not working. 
funny. Did point. you run far? No, I've kind of got a little bit of chafe here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> funny chafe is where? Running. Like right up in under my ball sack <laughs> on my gooch. Chafe on my gooch. <laughs> oh wow, this looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like something's burning in there, yeah. No, something's gone wrong. Something's happened. I don't know what it is. Oh, nah, I reckon someone's put something in my undies. <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's like there's like chilli in my, on my ball. I'm going to high five that. Yeah. We're going to high five. Absolutely, I'll take that. That was cute. Oh. Ben. Hello. What's on your mind today? Is there any online courses I can do while I'm in the Big Brother house? You didn't by any chance find a football, did you? You're asking for two tutus? Yes, please, Big Brother. That's a great idea. What if Big Brother could only provide two tutus in tutti frutti colour? <gasps> we would love we would that. Love that. Um, so with Mr Clooney, does he have a family already that's going to adopt him or is he kind of up for adoption or...? What about a snorkel? Could you give me a snorkel? How about a full scuba gear? I don't have my licence. So two tutti frutti tutus. Yeah! Can we get a pet snake in here? A Swiss ball would be great. Can we get a petting zoo maybe? I've misplaced my scrunchie. Would I be able to get some string off you by any chance? We need vanilla essence. A water pistol? Pony would be good. Balloons. I'm thinking like Oreos. We've Pony. never, ever, 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 ever had Ben and Jerry's Big Brother. Never. But I need one of those little bra clippy things. It's Big Brother, is it? Can't you get your hands on anything? Could you get me some triactin? Which does what? It's triactin like a man. Tahan. Yeah. How many times have you come in asking for this now? This will be my third Big Brother. <laughs> and what did Big Brother tell you last time? Your request has been noted. Pretty please with a cherry on top. In a word, no. Oh. The Big Brother boys love a twilight workout. <laughs> and so do the girls. Ed. Can you on, please Ed. demonstrate with the chairs. With the chairs. I'm yes. done with the chairs. Let's I'm moving on to the No, just okay. do it again. No, 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 you don't look over him. You, yeah. look, you look over here. You look over here. You shut you your eyes. eyes. I feel like I'm being used. No, shush. I like it. No. <laughs> Shut your eyes. I want 15, Ed. Don't watch, it ruins it. <laughs> I'll go for 15 more. Shh, shh, shh. don't talk, just do it. <laughs> Louder. You gotta shut up. Go. Oh, It's the morning after the night before, and it seems Tim and Tahan have some explaining to do. This is Big Brother. Tim and Tahan to the diary room. Good morning, housemates. Good morning, Big Brother. How are you today? Well, I've got a sty in my eye, so I can't see very well. Tim. Yes, Big Brother? Tahan. Yes, Big Brother? It seems you may have accidentally kept some of Big Brother's possessions last night. Um. <laughs> Maybe. <Go on. laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Huh? 
why don't you gather all the items and bring them back to the diary room for Big Brother? Oh, oh. Even the salad we stole. Can we eat some of it before we give it back? It will be eaten on the way back. Yeah. Man. For the group. Oh no, oh no. God Does bless anyone you. want to No, oh, definitely not. Little... <laughs> anyway, I'll go get that salad. What are we putting there? Yeah, I'll get that stuff. Um, this looks like a prize showcase. Yeah. Wait, there's more just outside the door, Big Brother. Housemates, how very kind of you to bring back all of Big Brother's possessions. You're welcome. Yep, yeah, we're good people. There's a, quite a bit, isn't there? Have you noticed anything else in the diary room? Yes! yes. Our I... favourite thing! My hairdryer! Well, Big Brother has some very good news for you. Yes, Jen? Yeah. Today is the day Big Brother was planning to return your special items. Ah! What? Yes! Yes! What is a catch though? There's a catch, I can feel it, but... However, Big Brother now has to spend the day packing away all of his things. And sadly, there's just no time to discuss the return of your jacket and hairdryer. Please leave all items in the diary room. Oh. Someone looks pretty chuffed with his special gift from Bert and Patty Newton. Oh my God, they're perfect. <sighs> oh, Ma, look. And look, Nan, Bert wrote to you. He says to Margaret and Nan, lots of love, Bert Newton. And he's got three kisses. <laughs> yeah. So that's one for you, Mum, one for you, Nan, and one for me. This is Big Brother, Jade. No commercial music, please. Big Brother's not a commercial song. My auntie wrote it. You want to hear my song? Go ahead. <laughs> I feel a little sick. I get a little dizzy. I feel my heart breaking in my chest. I feel a little sad. I get a little silly when I remember what he said. It was goodbye. And then you hug me tightly. I said, please don't go. He said, I'll thank you one day. That's my song. It's about my breakup. Good to see you over him, Jade. <laughs> You're always listening. This week, Ed went to the Japanese-inspired family dinner as a Big Brother house ninja. God. That looks so good. I wish all the ninjas looked like you. Yeah, you can't see me. Hey, Chuck. Imagine if you come in and you didn't speak like yeah, a real ninja. I should have done that. And we would have been like, Have oh you done God. it to everyone else yet? No, not yet. Go do it and don't speak. And just go like this. Yeah. Oh, do that! Do show me in, show me in, show me in. Oh, my God. I should run into the kitchen. Oh my god. We've got it, we've totally got this. One more time. Um, our task today involves the body. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh my god, I swallow you. Hey. Oh my god. Are I you joking? I've fallen you! I should have run out the door. I thought you were a ninja! I should have run out the door. Get out! Come on, come on. Have we got me? Have you ever been the last one standing at a party and wondered how to keep it going? Drew has. And it seems all you need is a pink onesie.
Whoever that was, not on. Hop. Hop, hop. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.